From NBC News in Washington, this is Meet the Press with Tim Russert. NBC has paid tribute to Tim Russert by leaving his chair empty on Meet the Press on Sunday. The network's Washington bureau chief died unexpectedly at work Friday of a heart attack. And the show he hosted longer than anyone else dedicated its full hour to him. His voice has been stilled. And our issue this sad Sunday morning is remembering and honoring our colleague and our friend with some of the men and women who worked with him and appeared here on Meet the Press, who knew him best. Brokaw and about a half dozen others then chronicled his life, remembering interviews he had conducted and recalling that while he was tough, he was also fair. He prepared hard and he, would, he expected that when people came on the show that they prepared. He took great offense at people who didn't, who treated the show lightly and, and he had great respect for people, even though that get tripped up that gave a sense of preparation. Still, while this show was deemed a celebration of Russert's life and work, it was clear that the mourning period is not over. The flag outside the studios in Washington flew at half staff, and his co-workers and colleagues shared hugs as they filtered in and out and offered words of praise as they left. That set is weird without uh, Tim. He was a great guy. He had an infectious sense of humor. He loved the work he was doing raised the level of political dialogue in this country, made the candidates better, made journalists better, and it was a real public service to the country to be able to tune in on Sunday morning, meet the press, and take the measure of these people who want to be our leaders. The void now leaves NBC scrambling to fill this chair. There is no word on who will next week or beyond that. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.